Hyperplasia may simply be defined as the increase in the number of cells in an organ or tissue. This, of course, often results in some enlargement. This is an enlarged parathyroid gland and the enlargement is due to hyperplasia. This adrenal gland shows nodular hyperplasia. And the nodule has a clear cell area as we can see in the microscopic picture. Hyperplasia isn't simply the result of an increased number of cells due to increased cell division. Decreased cell loss through apoptosis plays a part. The stimulus for hyperplasia is often hormonal and if the stimulus is removed it is reversible and hyperplasia is frequently seen in glandular tissues. Hyperplasia may be physiological for example, people living in a high altitude will have increased numbers of red blood cells due to hyperplasia of the red blood cell precursor cells in the bone marrow. Breast and thyroid tissue becomes hyperplastic during puberty and pregnancy. Hyperplasia may also be a compensatory mechanism. For example, if someone has part of the liver resected, then the remaining liver will enlarge through hyperplasia. Similarly, if someone loses a kidney, the other kidney will become hyperplastic to compensate. Hyperplasia may also be pathological, for example endometrial hyperplasia due to excess production of oestrogen, Metabolic problems such as hypocalcemia can, can result in hyperplasia of the parathyroid glands and autoimmunity may play a role in hyperplasia in conditions such as Graves' disease and Cushing's syndrome. This is an enlarged thyroid from a patient with Graves' disease. You can see from the histology that the lining of the thyroid follicles is papillated and that is because the number of thyroid follicle epithelial cells has increased resulting in infolding of the epithelial cell layer. Complications of hyperplasia include excess hormone production for example in hyperparathyroidism there may be excess production of PTH. The other thing that can happen, particularly in tissues such as endometrium, is that the hyperplasia may become atypical and then develop into carcinoma. This is a complication of parathyroid hyperplasia and this is the histological appearance of a brown tumour in bone that has been resorbed as a result of the hyperparathyroidism. One of the complications of obesity in women is that there will generally be excess oestrogen on board. This will cause proliferation of the endometrium, causing it to become hyperplastic. The hyperplasia may become atypical and eventually develop into adenocarcinoma. And here we can see an example of endometrial adenocarcinoma. Hypertrophy and hyperplasia often coexist. Uh, go a good example of this is in the prostate in benign fibroglandular hyperplasia in middle-aged and elderly men. This is a chip from a resected prostate showing fibroglandular hyperplasia. So the glandular component is hyperplastic and the stromal component is hypertrophied.